all right welcome to my channel this is lock chip what i am uh going over today are these locks right here i believe in one of the i think it was either a lot somebody is late locks or picking time show somebody was showing their master lock dimple padlock um kind of got me interested in trying to find one of those because they're not available here in the u.s um very readily uh, they're mainly made for the european or uk um that in those locations so started looking at these we're trying to possibility some people were looking to see about doing a group buy or something um but i i know amazon had these on sale and the guy that was looking at buying these for us was just buying them from amazon for maybe 14 euros or something so i thought about it i switched my location in amazon to the uk and looked at these i was able to see them but when i was looking at them i also saw, saw that my shipping address was still here in the u.s and they would ship to the u.s cheaper than what i could buy from the american amazon or the u.s amazon so i switched locations to the uk ordered all four of these locks um they arrived they're brand new straight from amazon um but using the uk location you know these are all well except for this one they're all different versions of these three are dip, dimple locks and then this is a disc detainer lock it's a yale 112 because um, the one I had, it does not have very impressive bidding, but this one definitely has a lot more, a better bidding. So I want to give that a try, but that's not a, not what I'm going to work on today. What I want to focus on is this master lock. I'm, with, I'm trying to get into some dimple locks, and I want to, I'm assuming, start on the easier side. So I'm going to try to give this a go out of the package and see how this goes. I may not pick it, which is fine because I am still learning. Went fine. I am still learning how to pick dimple locks. So four keys. All right. Oh, does work. Very smoothly, actually. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pins. Key is reversible. So, let me see if I can get this in a vise and see if i can give it a try let's see okay all right what can i fit in there with let's see okay that's a good possibility now to tension that so if i'm turning clockwise i need to well rats let me see if i can go the other way started thinking about that for a second let's see if i can pick from the left side hmm. i'm just trying to figure if i can pick because i'm assuming this only turns clockwise Okay, so y'all can probably correct me, but you get better, if there's spools or anything, you get better feedback by picking the opposite of your tensioning, so, all right, now I need some tensioner, let's see if I got a tensioner that will fit well enough, so, let's see, let's try that one, what does that one do, nope. So, 
we'll see how this one is binding. If I can get up under it. I think I got a click out of one. It is well it was springy. I was trying to stay it up, but two binding. Let it on my tension a little bit. Click out of two. Tap one and it almost feel like a little false set. I'm just trying to find my place because I'm not. Click out of three. Click out of four. Oh, that was maybe six. Come back through. Again, I'm start over, or well, not start over. I'm just going back through each pin. One's binding, you know, feels like it's set. Two, yeah. hoping I didn't overset two, but uh, now my feet's getting stuck. Sorry, I'm not saying much, but taking my concentration to see if I can feel anything. All right. So I'm not getting anywhere, so I'm going to let off some tension. I heard some stuff drop, so I'm going to go back from there. I don't know. One still feels set. Two feels like it dropped down. Trying to get up under it. Good click out of two. Three feels like it's still set. Trying to get up under four. Click out of four, five, I'm not feeling anything on those. All right, let me see if I need to change profile. Let's see if this one does any different. No, that one goes too far across the... Oh, there it was. Think that's too bad for my first go at it and i think what i was doing i think i was what i thought was the back of the lock was actually pin six i think and i wasn't i wasn't picking it so anyway so that is the master lock 1145 pd so or that says PD, but then this is 1145 PEURD. But anyway, 
All right. Thanks for watching.